In this video, I'm going to show you how to blitz bunch tight end in a way that is going to put your defense at a significant advantage for being able to defend the majority of the things and the concepts that people are going to be utilizing out of the bunch tight end in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day. Now we're talking about the nickel triple. And if you haven't uh, already heard about the nickel triple, I think it's one of the most underrated defenses in Madden 22, specifically, um, especially as the game has shifted a little bit to more man coverage, more heavy pressure. This has a really, really, really good blitzing um, formation tied to it. And I actually have a full defensive guide on the nickel triple. If you want to get that nickel triple ebook, you can get access to every Madden 22 offensive and defensive guide by joining my Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month to sign up for that. And it gets, again, you get access to all of my ebooks and any additional updates that I release while your membership is active. We've got a ton of updates already in the membership as well. Um, just kind of keeping you up to date as the game shifts, as new concepts emerge, we break them down in real time for you as well um, in addition to our ebook. So if you want to get all that, link is in the description if you want to check that out. Let's talk about Bunch Tight End. And obviously Bunch Tight End starts and ends uh, with the play P. But over, but I'm going to show you a basic blitz to get you started. And then we're going to kind of ramp this up and expand on it. Um, the two primary coverages that you want to be able to do this from are the cover one linebacker blitz, the cover th um, and the cover two man. Those are the two basic format formats for coverage. And you could do it from cover two man. I want to show you the difference between the two. You're going to notice that this left of screen DN kind of pinches in a little bit. But other than that, there's really not a major difference when you run this defense. And so what this allows is it allows us to um, be able to have a, a unique approach to sending our pressure. So first things first, I want to show you cover one linebacker blitz because that's the easiest one to start with. And it's just a five-man pressure. It's really, really good if your opponent is sending five out, which most people that run bunch tight end, they really don't do that a lot. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to press coverage, uh, QB contain, and then you're going to user this guy. And I like to put him right here. You can put him right here. But I mean, just kind of put him over the guard. And that's pretty much it. Literally, the pressure will come in right off the edge, as you can see. And they're going to get instant pressure. Now, what your opponent is going to do relatively quickly whenever they see that you're doing something like this is they're going to block a tight end. Um, this pressure honestly doesn't really work well against a block tight end and it doesn't work that great against a blocked running back we're going to show you a pressure that does in just a second but i wanted to start kind of with the foundation because if you are playing somebody in bunch tight end and they're just sending five out every play this is a great little d i mean it's it's real simple um you know but again it's really effective and again if they block anybody not going to come in but if they don't block somebody yeah, it's going to come in clean, okay? But now I wanted to kind of ramp it up a little bit and talk about the key and really the most um, common play that you're going to get from this, which is a bomb where they're going to do something like this right here, okay? Now, what you want to know is I like to leave the guy in coverage on the tight end, and the reason why is because if the tight end blocks, he'll automatically guard the running back. So all we're going to do out of cover one linebacker blitz is we're just going to blitz our linebackers, and then we're going to stand right here. Now, if they send the tight end out on a route, your user is going to be responsible for um, you know picking up the running back. If they don't uh, send the tight end out on a route then your user is now free to lurk over the middle of the field. So you'll see right here kind of an example. And what you'll see is this pressure should come through the either the A-gap. There I think I messed up my crash, so I'll show it again. Um, and again, this is this is a PA boot over specialty, right? So again, just simply butch your linebackers. You're going to kind of stand right in between the guard and the tackle. And at the snap of the ball, you're just going to hold left trigger and again, a lot of the times you're going to be able to get a gap pressure. 
Now, what's also really, really interesting about this um, about this defense is you can create some different pressure looks and overloads with nickel triple just by simply crashing your line. So what I'm gonna show you right now is I'm gonna crash my line to the left side of the screen. And what you should see here is a better chance for some of that A-gap pressure. And as you see, it's literally gonna come right down the middle, um, right at the quarterback. You know, the, be the worst type of pressure for a quarterback, especially, um, you know in real life and also in madden i think it's pressure that comes right at your face like you really it, it you can't step up you can't step up into the pocket and it puts them in a position you know again where they're just going to be you know in a lot of problems so um and again this comes in if they block a tight end it comes in if they block a running back so that's what's really nice about this setup we set that bomb concept up as well and uh what you should see if i can get my running back to go on the wheel there we go um you don't have to really use her the wheel, right? So all you have to do here is just come down and then bail back. And as you can see, very simple. I hold left trigger with my user to kind of trigger this blitz to come in. But what's also really cool about this is what this does against a PA boot over style. So um, let's say real quick, let me show you the blocked running back first and then we'll talk about um, you know what happens, what happens if they, uh, if they if they were to play action play. So again, I'm just gonna uh, Hopefully the running back will cooperate with me here Okay, do that Okay, and then we'll put the tight end on a route. So it doesn't really matter the route just something and, and Anyway, what you'll see here is the running back should step up here But it's gonna leave that a gap pressure just come right down the middle right there We got a little bit of a poor angle, but I mean you see the idea. I mean it's very simple and this is something that you can do like I said, out of, you know, anything. And again, let me show you it to you one more time. So literally just crash your line to the, the receivers. You could crash your line out if you wanted to as well um, or crash your line down, um, but just something simple like this. And what you should see is that a gap coming through the middle. He's being a little weird, but like I said, typically he's gonna come right on the a gap. Might be just something as simple as crashing your line to the right or not right, but uh, down and make sure that when you come down most people don't block the running back anymore because it's really not an effective way to pick up blitzes this year um so just know that like it's it's very rare they're gonna just block the running back so anyways but that's kind of the concept so now what i want to show you is really the the real important thing and that is the the uh pa boot over defense so how do we stop pa boot over well, there's a couple different ways but if they're running it like this where they block their tight end and they want to leave the play action on what all you have to do is just come down with your user just a little bit more and you see that that guy that is guarding the tight end is right there well you can easily just click your right stick in and send that defender off the edge another thing that i like to do um with boot overs, you want to kind of get a little bit more out here. Um, but a lot of the times you'll get this pressure to loop around the edge against boot over as well. You see how fast the pocket's going to collapse uh, from nickel triple. But if they're just spamming, like if they're just literally running boot over every play, just blitz this outside guy. And what you should see here is, and again, you're going to be right here. You're going to be coming down. But you see how he comes right in and he's right, got a free rushing angle at the quarterback. Very simple. If you wanted to um, maybe hedge your bet a little bit, you could take this defender and put him in man coverage on the tight end. And then after you blitzed your linebackers, if you wanted to hedge your bet just a little bit, this is not as good of a blitz, but it's not terrible. And again they're gonna be in a situation here where you know it's gonna be hard to scramble that's a corner coming off the edge and you still have him manned up and that's what's really advantageous about this alignment now i want to spend just a real quick second explaining how cover two man comes into this fold so why would you run a cover two man well you get a nice jam on all these receivers you can also show blitz and this guy is in a zone right so i can put him in a blitz and then now all I have to do is blitz the left of screen linebacker and I'm going to come right down here. Now, if they run boot over, you could feel free, by the way, to crash your line out in this example, because you're going to get this little stunt angle and you see how good this is at contain and holding them in. And that's the beauty of this defense. So again, it's really simple. Um, most people, most people in bunch tight end at this point of the season, 
they're not running a blocked running back and a blocked tight end. Most people are just simply blocking their tight end out of this, um, which is, again, why this first setup is so valuable. Because with the first setup, you still have that tight end manned up, right? And, and, and then when the running back decides he's going to go out on a route, like, you're still there. You still have a guy there that's going to guard him, and you still have crazy pressure that is going to come in um, at the quarterback. So, yet another reason as to why I really like this. You can do the same exact thing. Um, you can do the same exact thing out of this cover two man. All you want to do is just man that linebacker or man that linebacker above the tight end. So, you see there. And then, really important when you show blitz, you want to repress that outside receiver. Um, I like to just repress those guys because of the alignment. But what you should see here again is they're going to block their tight end. Most of the time they slide protect and you should get a gap pressure right through their face. So I love this defense against bunch tight end. And you also have plenty of ways to run zone off of this. Um, you know, you could do something. Whoops. My guy's being a little weird here. Let me reset but you can run zone against this you can run man um there's a lot that you can do with this defense so anyways if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook there's a link in the description below where you can get that for just um i think it's just ten dollars a month to join our membership and it gets you everything it gets you all my ebooks it gets you all my updates any new ebooks that we release we've got over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in the membership so if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below where you can click that and go sign up. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want to sign up, head on down to the description below and check out the link that I put down there for you.